All right, everybody, so we are back today talking about something that's a little interesting. We're gonna be talking about more Sonic Twitter controversy. This is kind of something I've done as YouTube Shorts, but I kind of want to expand and just make like a full video about it. It seems like every day there's just unlimited source material for Twitter controversies for the Sonic the Hedgehog community. It's every day, bro. These people are arguing. They're in the comments. They're about to fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's pretty crazy. So we're gonna get into what I think is the biggest controversy of the week because there's so many. But before we do that, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel right now. Now, if you're a Sonic fan, I'll give you a second. And hopefully you have on notifications because the content is banger over here. And I'm dropping a music video soon, so you don't want to miss it. But with that being said, let's get into the controversy. You know how it works on Sonic Twitter. Someone says one opinion, then someone comes back with another one. Someone gets personal, then the quote retweets start going crazy. I've been a victim of this myself. I've literally been a victim of this. I made a banger tweet. Like, first of all, I dropped a banger post saying that Sega needs to bring back classic Sonic. And then they're getting at me in the quote retweets. The funny thing is, though, 138 retweets versus 135 quote retweets and 1,000 likes. You would think I'm getting ratioed, but technically I'm ratioing them. Someone says, no, no more classic Sonic. I said he needs to be included in the Frontiers DLC. Okay, I got ratioed here, but I, I don't care, bro. It's funny. Like, this is what we do on Twitter. We just have fun. It's the stupidest website ever. Oh, here is the best one. I said, agree or disagree. Cyberspace and Sonic Frontiers is greater than Shrines and Breath of the Wild. Oh my God. These, these weirdos in the comments were so pressed about this. Like, so many straw mans. Anyways, all right. So let's get into the actual controversy from this week. So the latest controversy involves IDW Sonic with which actually is a very frequent topic of discussion when it comes to Twitter debates and people like coming at each other and just like being disrespectful and rude to each other. But this is actually a good one. I've covered a couple of these before, but like I said, full video, let's just do it. I believe this is where it starts right here. This Twitter user said, Sonic opinions that put you in this situation. Sonic opinions that get you in, you know, a situation where you're getting beat up in the quote retweets. So basically the debate is people don't like Evan Stanley's art style in the IDW comics. And it's really starting to take off. It's really getting a lot of traction. So here's... I think the original tweet, not 100% sure, but I'll give you guys a rundown of kind of like the general gist so you understand what's going on. So this person says, IDW Silver as drawn by Stanley is extremely out of character and off model expression wise. Note the images below. When Silver is drawn in character and on model by Yukawa or Karasuno, his eye shape and mouth stay on model even if he's happy. Stanley Silver is a mangling of the character. So you guys are comparing the artwork right here. Personally, I do prefer this art style better, but I'm not gonna like really weigh in too much on this topic i'm more just like presenting you guys the information so if you guys look right here he's really comparing it and i think what they're saying is the character looks a little bit more like cartoony a little bit like more happy like the expressions to some are a little less edgy as opposed to like a more shonen type art style that people are used to personally growing up i'm more used to this art style i'm more used to like that sonic adventure 2 yukawa type art personally it's my preference but like i said i feel like some people are starting to get a little crazy people are already in the comments first person says nerd and now they're just going back and forth bro it's literally so crazy bro people are just getting disrespectful see I, I don't i really don't appreciate this like i'm not really a supporter of people getting disrespectful but don't worry it gets worse here is kind of the art style just to give you guys more of like a uh, background or something like that like you see sonic right here people do say that he does look different this is kind of the art style that more people prefer including myself but i mean seriously the name calling and the disrespectfulness it just gets a little out of hand basically sonic twitter's going back and forth everyone's going at it here's a good summary of what's going on this person says i ain't taking anybody seriously who dunks on id w artist anymore i'm convinced y'all do it out of total jealousy or purely for attention it's always the same stuff in quotations off model something about yui kawa and evan draws too cute whatever that even means and then here we go more people are being disrespectful then by that logic you should shut up about the games too and it's just like oh my god it's just a video it's just a video game art style bro but your passive aggressive behavior in the last days tells you don't want to see any other opinion besides your own yeah i picked such word all right so here's also a post that really set a lot of people off this one has two 200 quote retweets and 334 likes so this person said i don't dislike evan stanley they're probably a perfectly nice person but their art does not fit sonic they just have a very gross way of illustrating the characters that completed mist understands what these characters are supposed to be so it kind of links you know some of the art styles that they have and i guess they don't like sonic's eyes or something like that but the quote retweets are going off right now this person says gross dang and then they come back and say honestly yeah it's not just these images the way she approaches sonic's design before she even puts the pen to paper is completely flawed at least the results like this just a microcosm of sonic's current modern design taking precedent so i guess 
They show more artwork, and they, I guess they just don't like it. This person says, there's nothing wrong. It's literally just him. Person responds, IDK man looks fine to me. I've been a fan of Sonic for most of my life. I don't get how this became a hated Sonic design when it's perfectly serviceable and enjoyable design. Line look, it's not bad art. It's just really good. So they said, it's not bad. It's just good. Then this person comes at them and says, I thought you were going to write an actual rebuttal, but you basically just used the Twitter character limit saying, no, it's good. I like it. It's good because I like it, and it's good over and over. You essentially said nothing. Bro, people are literally going at each other in the comments, bro. This is crazy. This is another tweet that really set people off. If you guys look in the comments right now, people are just going at them. If it doesn't fit Sonic, why does Sega keep approving her work and continue to onboard her for her skills? Every panel goes through an approval process, and we know because she's posted before and after. Perhaps also get a nice hobby and improve as a person. Oh my god, it's getting disrespectful. Yo, people are throwing the gloves on Sonic Twitter right now. And this person says, dog, you draw Sonic the exact same way and pulled up their art, bro. It's getting a little crazy. Yo, people are hostile, man. People are just at each other's throats. I'm both sides of the aisle. Listen, I'm, I'm like a both sides. I'm like a, I'm like a fence sitter, all right? I'm not really that type of guy that's gonna take a strong opinion one way or the other. Here we go. Here's some more stuff. So this person says, time for another opinionated rant. Can I be real for a second here? The 06 design is bad. If Evan Stanley's Sonic is going off model on the cutesy side, this design going off model on the signature edge side, it breaks the balance just as much as Evan style. Here before Sonic Twitter finds this tweet overnight for mentioning Evan. Yeah, people going crazy, man. This person says, I don't know who thought it was a good idea to popularize dunking on Evan Stanley's artwork so much, but y'all genuinely gotta go, LMFAO. And then this guy quote retweets and says, dunking on Pontap's writing so much, but y'all genuinely gotta go. And then this person says, dog, shut up. This person says, I don't know what's going on, but a lot of people complain about Evan Stanley's way of drawing Sonic characters. Just remember we had this before. Oh my God, what are those? Bro, that's Archie Sonic, bro. He looks so terrible. <laughs> that's not Evan Stanley Sonic, by the way, for those of you who are just like getting up to speed. This person actually quote tweeted this tweet and actually agreed. It says, this person said, Evan Silver may as well be an OC with how badly it flanderizes him. He's unrecognizable and fans just accepted it because he's cute. This person actually agreed and says, the damage they have done to Silver's character. Some of these are like, okay, you know, some of it's discussion. It's not all disrespect. It's all, you know, it's it's opinionated, nuanced discussion at the end of the day. And then this person actually agrees with them too. They said, truth, OMG, she's getting dogpiled for saying something bad about IDW. Silver was never like this. I respect Evan, but her Silver is just character assassination. He's been mangled so badly. This is the guy that tried to kill Sonic in his debut, who stole from Tails. And then this person said, apparently you can't criticize Evan Stanley because everyone takes it as a personal attack. So like I said, there are two sides to this argument. It's not all one side as much as people want to make it. This person says, can you shut up, man? This person says, homie's getting dragged for having a valid opinion. The art style isn't bad, but those expressions look whack AF on silver. This person says, translation, I'm going to use terms that have no actual idea of the meaning of to make my whining seem credible and intelligent because we all know everyone looks the exact same all the time and expressions do not exist. Sonic Twitter, man. This is actually a good post right here. This person says, as long as the core concepts are in play, you should be free to have your own artistic interpretation of an established character. You're free to not like it, but thinking someone misunderstands what a character is supposed to be over minor details is pretty stupid to me. This kind of talk makes people not take Sonic or artists seriously because you have a lot of this really asinine idea of what is correct or not when it just boils down to preference at the end of the day. Wow, that's actually the most logical take you'll probably see on Sonic Twitter. We're gonna go slow, actually, and kind of just show you guys basically the stuff that's going on right now. So yeah, I mean, personally, I think that once again, it boils down to a matter of preference and no one can ever be truly right or wrong. The only thing I could say is obviously people should be a little bit more respectful of each other's opinions. Like seriously, I think like we need to become a little bit more cordial. But I mean, there is an interesting debate going on here. So yeah, you guys are seeing the quote retweets. You guys kind of got a good idea of what the latest Sonic Twitter controversy is. So you have the Yui Kawa art, which you kind of see what it looks like. You have the Evan Stanley Sonic, which I also do like as well. So these are kind of the two conflicting art styles. Let me know which one you guys like down below in the comments without being like rude. You know what I mean? Personally, like I said, I do prefer Yui Kawa Sonic because that's just kind of what I grew up with. But like I said, I do like both. So let me let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And that is this week's Sonic Twitter controversy. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this down below in the comments.